Hi, welcome to In Eric's Kitchen. Um, Eric here. I'm going to uh, show you one of the uh, meals from our um, meal boxes. We're just doing a beta test right now on these meal boxes. We're going to have full release the first week of June. And I have some of the beta boxes. So some of the packaging might be slightly different by the time they get into the full production. But I want to share with you one of the meals, which is um, impossible meatballs with red sauce. We include some pasta in the box as well. We're working with um, some local uh, uh, farmers to get some um, pasta made out of local grain. Uh, this one I believe is not. We're still working on the supply chain. I think this is um, from uh, Rousseau's. And then we have some beluga lentil salad here. Um, and so this is one of the meals in the post meat box. And I'm just going to go through how I would prepare this at home to give you guys a little bit of uh, inspiration and direction. So. First thing is I have some water here boiling, and I'm going to take um, some salt. So always want to make sure you put salt in your uh, pasta water, and I probably a tablespoon in. I'll give you a couple other tips. Um, one is you can see I've got like a big stock pot. Uh, the more for most recipes you're making with pasta, you want to have more water um, to the pasta. So so having a big pot like this lets you get there. And um, the other trick is I, um, I had this, I try, I'll try not to make this a long story, but I had this for the best spaghetti I ever had in my life in Peru, which sounds really weird. But I was like, I, it was like perfect. And I don't know how the people in the kitchen cooked it so well. And then we had an, another night, because we were staying in this uh, hotel, and the kids were getting the spaghetti, and it was also perfectly cooked. And I was just thinking, there can't be any, there's either like somebody in there who really cares about pasta or something else is happening. But when we got home, I looked up how the temperature that water boils at at that altitude, and it's a little lower than what it normally boils at at our altitude. So sea level, it's 212 degrees Fahrenheit. At that altitude in Peru, it's like 190 degrees. And so since then, I've been boiling my pasta at a little bit lower temperature, so not quite boiling. And I think I get a much better result. So. Uh, something you can try and play with at home if you want, or you can ignore that um, little tip. Uh, there's a lot of pasta here. I think there's more than we really need for that, but I'm going to make them both up, and I'm going to show you a, a, a little like uh, extra that you can do with the uh, excess. The pasta is now uh, in this pot, and I'm going to just grab myself a spoon that I can use to stir it around in there. Um, so you do want to stir that pasta to make sure that it doesn't stick to itself, especially in the first like 30 seconds. That's a pretty important thing to do. And, um, and so we're going to let that sit in there a little bit under a boil. Now the next piece of this dish, the impossible meatballs and the marinara sauce, I'm going to put this in a pan right here. And I, I had uh, this heating up a little bit. Now these are all cooked. So all we're doing is warming this up right now, really. And um, I don't like to waste all that delicious marinara sauce, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put a little bit of water in the um, to try and rinse the rest of it off, so I don't don't have a lot stuck in there. And that's okay. A lot of that that extra water will come off as this is heating up. So I just use a little extra water to rinse this and add that in there. But all we're doing here is just heating it up. This has all been made. It's ready to go. Um, some of the meals that we're including are like ready to eat basically the way they are. Some need a little bit of heating. This is one of the more advanced meals and that requires you actually cook pasta. Uh, hopefully most of you have done that before um, and that's not going to be the first time you're doing it. And so you see I've got my marinara sauce warming up right here with my meatballs in it. Um, impossible meatballs, the first version we got from them, the impossible meat didn't hold up very well to simmering in sauce and we had to work around that. But this new version they reformulated, it's like Impossible version two. It holds up really well, so you don't even have to worry too much about that. Um, so we've got this heating up with the meatballs in there, pasta's cooking right there, and uh, I'm just gonna take a piece of this out. When I'm checking my pasta, I usually like to look for, um, I'll like, I'll take, I'll cut it, and I'll look at what the inside looks like, see if it's um, uh, raw inside. Mm, this is tasting really good. So that one's ready to come out. Um, 
And so what I'm doing here is I have a strainer and a bowl, and I've got to pour it all into that. I put it in the sink in case there's overrun, it's not going everywhere. And you can see there's a dessert box behind me here, a bunch of clover pita. We tried to fit everything we could in the fridge, but uh, we're, we're a little bit crowded right now. Um, there's a lot that came in the boxes. All right, so. All right, so I've gone ahead and poured my pasta, my cooked pasta into my colander. Um, this, this pasta we have today uh, is a, um, uh, a very quick cooking pasta, but when I tested it, when I cut it open, if it wasn't cooked, I would have just gone longer. And so you can tell by the middle of it would be a little bit raw, and you could also taste it. And I ha now have uh, the strained pasta ready to go, and I'm going to do this in a. Um, I'm going to do this in this bowl right here. I'm just going to go ahead and fill that up. And as I said, I think I have more pasta than I needed for the uh, meatballs, so I'm just going to reserve half of that for for another uh, another uh, idea. So here I have the pasta. This is intended to be a meal for four people. And now I have the marinara and the meatballs that are all like warmed up and ready to go. I'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and put that on top of the pasta like this. And uh, in this case, I'm not even gonna to toss it or anything like that. I prefer to serve it just like this. Um, I'm gonna do a couple more things to to dress this up and, and from this point everything I'm doing is sort of optional because um, you could just stop here but um, I'm gonna just I'm just getting the rest of the sauce out of the pan there and now um, I'm gonna put a little olive oil on it a lot of times when I'm making pasta I'll finish it with a little bit of olive oil so I'm just gonna put a little bit of extra olive oil I'm drizzling it on the top that olive oil that's right on the top you can taste it more when everything hits your tongue so um, that comes out really nicely that way. And then I'm going to uh, get my cheese grater and I'm gonna go ahead and grate some Romano cheese on top here. That's a pretty flavorful cheese, but I think it'll taste really great um, with this pasta. So this is, uh, this is the Impossible meatballs, clover, clovers, impossible meatballs. Um, we have that with pasta, and then we have a beluga lentil salad. And you know, th this comes with two of these. You could actually just serve these the way they are, um, or you could uh, do what I'm doing and have have some dish you like to have at the table. And what I'm going to do is put those like that, and I'm going to have. Um, I'm gonna have my salad. So I've got beluga lentil salad, I've got my clover and possible meatballs, and uh, this will be our dinner tonight. All right, I'm gonna do a bunch more of these, so you'll see them posting on the channel. Thanks so much.